I am <coughs> keeping abreast of technology. And this is true. This is a true story. He used to be so sexy and witty, but now spends nights on the internet. What a pity! At 4 a.m., a quarter past, he snuggled his honey at last, and his mouse hand double clicked on her titty. <laughs> Snuck that one in, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm widow of Corliss Lamont, and he was actually very modest, and he would always do a toast, but he claimed that um, he was just in the right place at the right time, and so I made this toast for him. Drink not to the man of single mind who knows just what to do, but drink to the contemplative soul who oft times muddles through. And the song that I wrote for him, Here and Now. Oh, celebrate here and now. No, not, not yet, I'm not gonna say it. No, not yesterday or tomorrow, but only here and now. Just savor the joy, forget song. We're here in this place on earth. Now live this moment's worth. Don't ask a promise of more. It's enough just to be alive. Why don't we realize that no other life is in store? We'll celebrate here and now. We're mortal. With one life we're living. And it's right here and now. I'm mixed up. <laughs> and it's right here and now. Our one chance for loving and giving. We're here in this precious place. Now there's no time to waste. Here is where heaven can be. Oh, earthlings of every land. Reach out a caring hand. Make peace. We're one family. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to run over. This is hibernating heart. This is part of a, a musical. Sweetheart, cold, cold and lonely is the winter. Enchanted earth beneath her blanket sleeps so still. Breezes <coughs> moan laments of empty sadness and thunder grumbles discontented on the hill. Golden summer sky has turned to silver and etched upon it silhouettes of naked trees. <coughs> Gone are love and life and warmth and laughter. And now I huddle by my heart of memories. Could our eternal moment be all through? Perhaps love lies asleep to wake anew. Oh, all alone and afraid. Oh, sweetheart, I need you so. Hand to hold, heart to trust. Where you are, there I must go. Nature's trust in kindly fate leaves hope within my hibernating heart. Dormant dreaming love awaits the promise of a new start. Tinkling melody of sunlit water neath the irreverence of skaters lies in tune. Sparrows flown, their cradle rocks abandoned, and barren branches left where lovely roses bloom. So lavish with our endless summer treasures, yet inescapable is winter that we part. Oh, sweetheart, where's your magic kiss of springtime? Come, come wake the world and wake my hibernating heart. I was on Occupy Wall Street with this one. I had my great big banner, and it said, the capitalist tide will raise all boats. What a crock, a cruel hoax, a fallacy. We're mired in mortgage mud on foreclosure flats, and the CEOs and their yachts sail out to sea. And this is anyone for breakfast. This is for, uh, not so accusatory. Anyone for breakfast, sprinkled in a bowl of midnight blue, crispy little stars await the dawning sun's first chilled rays of rich cream hue to pour upon and inundate them one by one. And I have a literary handicap. <laughs> I'm hit. I'm hooked at how I know it. 
I'm addicted to alliteration. I'm hooked in how I know it. Everything I think, every word I write, my puny puns all show it. <laughs> so please lay off with your lectures. Just keep your kind advice. I just so, love so <laughs> I so love each letter of the alphabet. I simply say it twice. <laughs> Round a grain of sand. Just grow a pearl, words an oyster once did utter. So I simply enhance my handicap. You see, I also stutter. <laughs> oh. You're good. OK. Um, this one is supernatural. Here lies a utilitarian who longs for no heavenly home. But the way she hates waste, it might be in good taste to make a nice soup of her bones. <laughs> and another on the same about my demise. To nature's tree, what's left of me? My ashes you must bring and scatter wide to seep inside the ground beneath her feet. That I who cried for life denied found suddenly so sweet might live if only for a moment more some lovely newborn spring. such a word, I must have made it up. Enjoy adolescing. <laughs> you stand beneath your canopy of loving care and shake your head and wonder, where is all this rain of which I hear grown-ups complain? You flap your wings and criticize, so sure you'll fly in sunny skies. <sighs> but use this time to gain momentum, strengthen view, what's more inventive. Too soon the downpour will include yourself find refuge in your memory shelf. Learn then that these sheltered times were best, but meanwhile, shrug and adolescent. <laughs> How about the arms-bearing animal? The animal which stands erect is wondrous, but has one defect, the suspicious nature which betrays him. He fears his fellow, so he slays him. The only one among all others who annihilates his brothers. I'll find it. <laughs> uh, before too long, he'll be extinct. Just over specialized, I think. The upright posture left him free to manipulate instead of flee. It's proof that evolution harms. Four legs are safer than two arms. 